points for you that you'd be ready for the spotlight a lot more this time. I mean, a lot of people are lumping uh, big prospect status on your head the last London show. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably going to happen again there. What do you think? I'm not really fussed about it now, you know. I, I had fun out there tonight, you know. I was very nervous before, you know, having a, a long time out. Yeah. But once I got out there, everything just felt so natural, you know. My training took over. Um, and as long as I continue to train hard, I'll get to where I want to be. So no, no ring rust at all? Was there anything that felt different for you after having such a long layoff? No, nah, there there, like, I would have thought there would have been a bit of ring rust, but when I got in there, you know, I've been sparring with some sharp guys, you know, and also my training partners like Leon and stuff. I'm, 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 sparring, I'm sparring top guys, so, you know, they're getting me ready for these kind of fights and I feel at middleweight I'm uh, I'm, I'm not the heaviest guy I'm not the biggest guy but I'm a good athlete and I'm more athletic than these guys um, I felt comfortable to be honest and, you know I got a lot of respect for Dan Kelly but I, you know I was just the younger sharper more athletic athlete in there. this is how you make a living fighting so for not being able to do that for a couple of years how do you actually support yourself financially well, I have my team, my team, Rene uh, team Renegade, um, you know, and I make, a, I make a good living from that. I don't need to fight. Uh, I fight because I love to. Um, and, you know, I, I enjoy what I do at Renegade, you know, uh, training and helping out guys that have fights and, and being a coach there as well. So, yeah. With the benefit of hindsight, was a little bit, I know it was a lot of time off, perhaps more than you wanted, but has that time off gotten you some good? Do you, do you feel different at all? Yeah, well... It def I was definitely very hungry in training, but I've always I've always been very professional when I trained, you know. Um, so the time off, it was tough in the build-up, but once I got in there, my training took over. So yeah, you know, next next time now that I've just you know I got in there, my confidence is up again. I feel a lot better, before, you know, in the lead-up. How are you feeling in middleweight? Good, you know. I'm not. I didn't really. I wasn't that heavy when I got in there tonight. Um, I was similar to how, what I was at welterweight, but. I had so much energy, you know, even just when I was in there, I just felt, whoa, like, I wasn't even, like, I didn't even get a sweat on. I feel, I feel fit at this way, you know, I feel, I feel strong. Can you tell us uh, what exactly is your weight inside the cage today? Uh, I, I went away before, I was like 188. Yeah, usually I'm a bit heavier, but, you know, just getting close to the fight, my body's just like, oh, welterweight. Getting, getting down for welterweight, I think, but, uh, yeah, I eat clean and, and it just come down naturally. Can you talk to Gunnar Nelson a little bit about because he famously doesn't cut any weight. Yeah. Is, you know, do you think this is the way forward? Now, also the champion in the middleweight division, Robert Whittaker, does the same thing. The best weight is the best weight you can perform at. What, what, what's your best athletic performance? Not getting in there being bigger and being all sluggish. It's what, what your body's going to perform at best. And for me, it's at this weight. Find more output. Yeah, I just felt fresh, you know. In, uh, like, I mean, it was a short fight, but even like in in the dressing room and stuff, I just, I didn't feel like I'd get tired. So considering that, you know, like you said, it was a short fight and you didn't really take any damage by the looks of things and you had been away for a while, mm -hmm. how soon you want to get in and again and again and again? Yeah. And again, and again. Uh, you know, I've just, this is my, this is my, <laughs> instigating fights. Yeah, um, <laughs> this, is my, this is my first fight of middleweight, you know. I know Dan Kelly's an older guy, but he was top 15 not long ago and, you know, he's one of those guys, he, 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 if you let him get into the fight, he, he can do well. So uh, for me, that this was a big win, and um, I just want to, you know, keep keep trying to progress, and I just want to get myself better. And to do that, I have to fight the best fighters in the world, and they're in the UFC. So get me out there and get me fighting whenever I'm ready to go. How soon would you like to fight this year? If I can get two more in this year, that'd be good. Yeah. Is there anyone you want to aim at specifically, or anyone? I don't. I can't even think it right now. I'm, who's in the division, really? You know, Wh whoever. Let's go. Yeah. Tom, I know Tom. you're um, hands on. Uh, Renegade as well, obviously doing a lot down there. Um, you know, at what point do you flip that and focus on yourself? How's it, how's it working out, trying to sort of juggle the two roles? Well, my, in, in the classes that I coach, I train myself. You know, we have loads of good athletes. And also, if I need any cover for classes, um, there, there's top athletes there. And, you know, like uh, Leon being there now as well, you know, he's helping uh, with, with coaching and Helping, helping push me in the lead, lead up to fight. So yeah, it's brilliant. Fifty Gs for Greg. Oh, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, that'd be great. How did it feel for you to uh, come back in the octagon in your home country? Uh, it, there, was it an uh, adventure, adventure or rather disadvantage for you? Uh, I didn't think too much about it. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> the, the advantage is I don't, I don't have to do like a long flight. You know, whereas Daniel Kelly. He, I think he flew from Australia to SBG, 
was away from home for a long time and then came to, uh, and then come to England. So it's a lot of time away from home. So I don't think he, he would have rested, same as as I have, just trained at home and dro I drove up to Liverpool on a Tuesday. What are you planning for tonight? Though? I'm gonna drive home once uh, once I get out of here <laughs> in my little banger. <laughs>